Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a feature on your iPhone that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. And it's a really helpful feature and you can customize it in different types of ways to make it more useful for you. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys the back tap feature that is on your iPhone. So essentially what the back tap feature does is it enables you to have a few features when back tapping your phone. So for instance, if I back tap my phone twice, it will take a screenshot like that, um, but you can set it to different things and it's just a helpful feature to set up um, to make things like taking screenshots or shazamming songs much easier. So yeah, let's get into the video. So in order to use this feature, all you need to do is go to settings and then scroll down until you see accessibility. Go in there and then go to touch and then scroll down again to back tap. Click on that and you can see it's on. And here you can see I have two options, double tap or triple tap. So for double tap, I have mine set to screenshot, but there are so many things you can set. Um, so you have app switcher. So if you have that selected. So now when I double tap, it's gonna go to the app switcher as you can see there. Then you also have camera, control center. Control center was set to mine for a long time also. Flashlight, home, um, lock rotation, mute notification center. Uh, reachability, um, then again, screenshot is what I set to. I just think it's very convenient. Um, then shake, Siri, spotlight, volume up or down. Um, and then you have other options as well. So if you don't want it to just be set to something that changes in the system, you can go to accessibility where you can um, set things there. Um, you can also do scroll gestures. So if you double tap, it's gonna scroll down or scroll up. And then you also can, and they can also use this to access one of your shortcuts. So if you have a certain Siri shortcut that you've set, you can just double tap it and it will automatically activate that shortcut. So like I said, for double tap, I have mine set to screenshot. And for triple tap, I have mine set to Shazam shortcut, which is this one here. So then when I triple tap at the back of my phone, Shazam will pop up and it will start listening for music. So this is just very helpful for me because it takes a long time sometimes to find Shazam on my phone, so just triple tapping three times makes sure um, that I won't miss the song that's playing. So um, yeah, that is what I set my phone to, but you can set it to whatever you want. Um, but yeah, those are two ways that you can customize your iPhone with the back tap feature. So with a double tap or a triple tap, and then just choose the features that will best work for your needs. Okay, so that was my tutorial on the back tap feature on your iPhone. I really hope you guys did enjoy it and found it interesting and maybe learned something new. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me. And um, definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all my other tips and tricks related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.